Dalam keadaan Malaysia sakit dengan defisit yang parah Beliau dengan rakan-rakan yang pakai tantara yang tinggi selama Mencatat lebihan 2.6 bilion ringgit Dato Sri Anwar Ibrahim's speech on January 25th contained two big lies. He was lying when he said Malaysia's economy was going through difficult times. The fact is, Malaysia recorded a higher growth of 6.5% for the fourth quarter of last year compared to 5.3% in the previous corresponding quarter. For the whole of 2012, the nation's economy grew at a rate of 5.6% after recording a 5.1% growth in 2011. Anwar was lying again when he said that the Selangor government's reserves of 2.6 billion ringgit showed the opposition's efficiency in administering the state. If that postulation was true, then why are the people of Selangor up in arms against the state government for not fulfilling many of its promises? Tak dapat lagi. Maknanya, orang pun orang kata tak datang sini. Memang orang kata follow up banyak kali pun tak guna juga. Seperti mana yang macam pakai kata rakyat, dia janjikan untuk warga emas, ibu tunggal, tak dapat rasa. Memang tak dapat dia rasa. Apa yang berhak kita dapat. Also to date, the Pakatan Rakyat State Government has not given a single low-cost house to its citizens. <coughs> mana yang janji oleh kerajaan negeri dulu, dia nak buat kata rumah yang dia mampu oleh milik pada rakyat dia lah kan. Sebab sekarang pun tak ada. Ini pun rumah ni pun dibina oleh bikin dia semasa pemerintahan UMNO dulu. Kerajaan negeri Selangor yang dia ambil alih hampir nak habis penggal lah lima tahun kan. Belum ada lagi bukti di Selangor ni mengatakan ada rumah uh, kos rendah. On the other hand, projects that it had promised to improve the well-being of local residents are being turned into luxury developments to attract foreign buyers and enable PKNS to reap exorbitant profits. The multi-billion ringgit Datum Jalate project has become the state government symbol of greed at the expense of the people's well-being. Bila dia naikkan projek ni, uh, penduduk tak tahu. Yeah, dia tak ada notis bantahan. Tarif pun tak ada. Yeah. Jadi apa yang dia buat tu adalah projek yang asal, bukan projek datum yang yang mega ni. Yeah. Jadi di situ dia mengabui penduduk. Yeah. Penduduk memang memang tak perasan. Yeah. Sampai bila kita meneliti secara halus, barulah kita dapat tahu Projek tu memang projek yang bukan asal. Ya? Saya bukan orang politik. Saya bukan orang politik. Kalau berani datang jumpa saya, one to one pun boleh. Sepuluh to one tu pun boleh. Eh, tak? Saya akan jelas eh, siapa yang buat duit dalam projek ni. Ini money laundering semua ada. Ya? Komplit. Roads in the Klang Valley are full of potholes and have not been repaired, although the federal government channels a substantial amount of money to the state government to repair the roads. Anwa is the economic advisor to Selangor and he is trying to promote the PKR-run state as the administrative model for other states should Pakatan capture Putrajaya. Uh, mereka tidak urus dengan proper, dengan betul. Macam mana? Uh? boleh dapat uh, untung dari hasil dari pasir. Inilah saya uh, selalu saya uh, the corruption lah. masih lagi berlaku. In Kedah, the state government has recorded a deficit of 1 billion ringgit within 5 years of ruling the state. It includes a borrowing of 330 million ringgit from the Quinn campus project which has run into all kinds of problems. At the same time, widespread logging, including in Padu, has stripped bare the forests and hills, earning the wrath of the people. This, I believe, is a, a desperate attempt by PAS to cover uh, the expenses of the state. And uh, I disagree their methods in using the environment to make money. Uh, we are suffering a lot of environmental damage as a result of uh, their actions and rampant loggings. It's becoming quite serious. The failure to resolve basic issues like housing for the people and such has triggered dissatisfaction within PAS. The party is under pressure to drop Menteri Basar Dato Sri Azizan Abdul Raza as a candidate in the 13th general election. Saya saya katakan bahawa uh, ke, dalam perkara uh, tertentu bukan semua perkara saya bersetuju dengan beliau. Tetapi bagi saya bahawa saya kena luahkan kepada 
kepada beliau. Apa yang saya tidak bersedia, saya akan luah kepada beliau. In Penang, open spats between DAP and PKR have escalated as a result of Chief Minister Lim Guan Eng's autocratic leadership. Lim was roundly criticized by his own deputy, Dato Manso Othman, at a meeting not too long ago. So we have not finalized. Not finalized. They are very arrogant. I tell you, mm. cocky and arrogant. Cocky and arrogant. Now I'm more arrogant. Now I'm more arrogant. <laughs> because they're not many. Yeah, they they are sure of getting 90, and they want more. Because by two more, they are the no. They can form the own. Yeah, yeah, they can form the own government. So they can pick any two from us. The managements of Pakatan Riot State governments are fraught with internal disputes among the leaders. The unfulfilled promises will eventually leave the people in want of a thousand and one things.